What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with my fifth and final individual Browns free agent target video of the year. Of course, tomorrow I wrap up the series with my five more free agent targets for the Cleveland Browns video. Of course, legal tampering officially begins on Monday at noon. So uh, that's going to be a fun time. Now, before I get into my final individual free agent target for the Cleveland Browns video, I need y'all to go check out the video I just posted talking about the Browns trading for Jerry Judy. No lie, I was just about to start filming this video. I just happened to check my Twitter timeline, and boom, I see the freaking notification talking about we traded for Jerry Judy. No lie. It's freaking crazy, man. Andrew Barry is something else. But anyways, with that being said, let's get into my final individual free agent target for the Cleveland Browns. And this dude is an absolute dog. And I'll tell you what. In college, he was one of my favorite players. Yeah, you already know. He played at the Ohio State University. I believe he was a Heisman Trophy finalist. And aside from the Bosa brothers, he is to this day still one of the best pass rushers, in my opinion, in Ohio State history. And of course, it's none other than Chase freaking Young, a.k.a. the Predator. Now, we take a look at Chase's background information, right? And he's still on the younger side, right? He's 24. In fact, he'll be turning 25 on April 14th. Of course, he went to high school at DeMatha Catholic. And of course, he went to college at the Ohio State University. And he was the number two pick in the 2020 draft by the Washington football team. Imagine if he would have went to the Giants. You know, if he didn't play at the freaking ACL graveyard, that is freaking FedEx Field. <laughs> Freaking hate that stadium. I wish they'd burn that joint to the ground, man. God, how have they not gotten a new stadium yet? Wait, I know why. Because they had one of the worst owners in sports. Now, luckily, they got his ass out of there. And they got a new owner who actually seems like he cares about the football team a little bit. He doesn't seem like a total scumbag. Good job, Washington. You're on the right track. Now, you look at Chase's stats, right? And honestly, he's pretty good, right? You look at 2020, Defensive Rookie of the Year, Pro Bowler, played in 15 games, started every game. He was fantastic. Seven and a half sacks. Yeah, he was a damn good player. And then the injury bug smacked him in the face. He's been battling like a knee injury really uh, most of his career since then. I think he had like an ACL injury or something. And uh, he really hasn't been able to recover fully. Now, this past year, started off with Washington, seven games, six starts, five sacks. He's doing all right. And then he was traded to San Francisco. And uh, two and a half sacks, of course. Uh, he did really well at times, you know, playing alongside Nick Bosa. I'm sure that was nice for him, right? Playing against, uh, playing alongside, you know, Nick Bosa. Kind of sucks we never got to see uh, Nick and Chase together at Ohio State, really, because I think Nick got hurt in his final year with Chase Young out there. He got hurt, I think, against TCU, and then he's like, I'm preparing for the draft. Screw this. <laughs> so we never really got to see those two together. But yeah, you know, in the limited time we got to see Nick and Chase together in the NFL, they were pretty good, right? Now imagine for a second, right? He comes to Cleveland and he plays alongside Miles Garrett, right? Imagine that real quick. How fun that would be. Now, market value wise, $13 million. Honestly, not that bad for a pass rusher. I mean, heck, he might even make less because teams might still be kind of weary about that knee and that knee issue that he's had. But man, if we could get him for a good price, especially if Zedarius leaves, I'd be down for it, right? 
This would give him a chance to really go crazy alongside Miles Garrett in a Jim Schwartz defense. <laughs> I'm here for that one. What if they get Christian Wilkins? Well, then I'm going to bust all over the walls. <laughs> if we lose the Darius, which would suck, but we get Chase Young, and then we get Christian Wilkins, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm freaking losing my mind, for real. My God. Oh, my God. You thought Miles Garrett was unstoppable now. Imagine what it would be like with that, right? Imagine a front four of Miles, Christian Wilkins, Dalvin, and Chase Young. Uh-oh, I'm starting to fantasize again. <laughs> ah, but yeah, this would be a solid get for the right price again, you know, because I'm sure teams are still going to be weary because of that knee. But, uh, man, if he is fully healthy and he's ready to go, oh, boy, that would be fun. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to talk about. Let me know what you guys think. Would you like the Browns to maybe go after Chase Young? Especially after this Judy trade. I bet you they could use their money towards a pass rusher. Because I don't think they're going to go after a receiver, really, in free agency anymore. So... Andrew Barry just made those two freaking videos I did about Gabe Davis and Kevin Ridley essentially irrelevant. I'm not going to go after another big money receiver. <laughs> Andrew Barry saw those two videos and said, no, I'm going to trade for one. Because that's what I do. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about Chase Young possibly being a Brown. And uh, we'll see what Andrew Barry has for us starting Monday. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog. As always, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell, and I will see you guys later. Because I know Andrew Barry's cooking up something else. He's always cooking. All right? He's some damn master chef. <laughs> see you guys later. Yeah, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go, Browns. Yeah. I'm out. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah.